What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another 124 Ultimate Team Draft Challenge with the Team 3 and Team 2 of Winter Wildcards now in draft. This should be easy, am I right? If you guys enjoy the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, let me know, or let me know in the comments. I don't know words to that effect. Uh, if you guys want to see another gameplay-related challenge, get your challenges in the comments section below. Uh, we're going to do some challenges from now until team of the season. Oh, Tevez and Milito, nice. We're going to do, yeah, some gameplay challenges between now and... Not team of the season, sorry, that's crazy. Between now and team of the year, we're going to be doing some uh, gameplay-related challenges. Uh, so uh, we already started doing them last week and let me know down below what you want to see of course now this first draft very bad very bad if you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in fc24 go to u7buy.com to buy your eafc24 coins it's cheaper than buying fc points and just as reliable they already offer some of the best prices out there but you can get an extra six percent off using promo code nep at checkout but it's not unsalvageable Yes, it is. Um, we just need some big, big, big cards. This is one of those drafts where it's it's very evident that it's going to be a dead draft. Don't mind Gavardiol though, because the lemon vote. This is awful. Do you know what's mad? I had uh, some guy message me today on uh, Twitter X, whatever we're calling it these days, with an insane one, two, four, and I was like, oh right. We're good for it. We're not good for it. Look at that. It's only 88 rated. It's 25 chemistry, which is easy to fix. Musiala being the biggest uh, the biggest non-chem guy. We'll take 90 rated Van der Sar. It does gain us one chem point, but we're not actually going to uh, pop him in just yet. Play Naldo can go in there. Come on, EA. Big boys, please. All right, we'll take an 89 Ashley Cole. Does help for chemistry. Obviously, the icons help with the leagues better than the heroes do this time around. Ooh, the brand new Van Basten 92. In he goes. That's 32 chemistry now. It is only uh, Tavernier that is lacking. And I'm sure we'll be able to fix that reasonably quickly. Like a Cafu or something. We'll take 93 Cruyff. Damn, none of them have the uh, better chem. The 93 Cruyff gives us the chemistry. So we've got max chem already. We're 88 rated, guys. Max ammo. We just need some huge ratings now to make this first one a good one. Eze can come on in. The bench is already crazy. I've got an 84 and an 85. It's a starting lineup that needs work. The most work. All of the work. We're not getting any of it, are we? Hmm. There is a 92 Cafu. Maybe, maybe Patrick Vieira would have been the better option there. In over, uh, sorry, uh, Yaya Torre would have been better in over the 80 rated Darun. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's an 89 rated 33 chemistry. Easy to get the chem this year. Look at those, those three golds, man, just ruined it. It's a 1 2 2, which isn't bad to start things off. Let's hope it gets better. All right, attempt number two of four. Let's go for a different formation this time. Let's go for the three, four, one, two. See if we can get that like center back Yashin or something along those lines. We'll take 89 Rui Costa over the 90 rated Aaron Benzema. We'll accompany that with the 85 Correa. And then I am going to take Raquel May over Mbappe because Mbappe's got way better at like cards. 91 is just not it. None of this is it, to be fair. Um, all right, centre midfielder number one. Ooh. I'm yelling Timber. Where are my sick players, EA? Come on now. I mean, Saul is good for the chemistry. Really good for the chemistry, to be fair. Take Anderson Talisker as well. Brazilian, relatively easy to link. Alessandro Nesta 91 is nice. Come on, give me the big, big yash in. Big Yashin and Maldini. Why not? All of them. Not all of them. We take centre-back Kyle Walker. Love that. And we'll go with Araujo. Very good for chemistry. And then in goal, it'll be Flecken. Now, I keep seeing people say it. 
leave the goalkeeper till last. Yeah, it's smart. It makes the most sense because then we will know exactly what we need and we'll be able to take exactly what we need. I really hate drafts like this. I know that sounds weird, right? But I really hate drafts like this because they just pick themselves. There's no thought that has to go into it. It's like there's an obvious choice every time. And it's boring. All right, we'll take uh, 92 Lionel Messi up front. We lose a little bit of chemistry. But it's worth it. Oh, Craig goes right mid. Oh, I was definitely worth it. 29 now. So it's just Flecken and Walker that we need to get the chemistry on. Uh, we'll certainly take a 92 Diani. Nothing doing there. Come on, EA. Hook us up, man. W would it be an FC24 draft without a Machado? It would not. Ooh. 90 rated Eric Cantona. Right, I know what I need in goal now. I need a La Liga goalkeeper or an icon. Because Premier League's not going to cut it. And we get an icon. The Ute at well, there was a La Liga goalkeeper there too. Now it is just Kyle Walker and Urian Timber. Urian Timber we can actually get links for. Is it going to be better? Oh, we gained two chemistry with Cantona over Messi. There you go. Now it's just Kyle Walker. And that just requires an English player. Manager, should I say. Oh, nice. 92 bends. We lose that chemistry back again. It is an 89 rated. It is an 89. Again, another 89 rated. Oh, my days. Frozen. Oh, I nearly didn't take him. This might be, this might be a 90 rated, guys. It's not, oh, if we get an English manager now, that's going to be quite painful. Messi can go in at Cam, that might help. The rating, that might take us to a 90. It does not. Can Diani go in at right mid? He can. That might take us to the 90. It does not. Wow. Now, the problem is, is Benzema cannot go at striker because we lose chemistry there. And it still doesn't get us to a 90. This must be so close now to a 90 rated. If we get an English... I mean, that is a sick draft as well, to be fair. Oh, as, uh, as the cam, we do get the English manager. Hold on. If the cam sits in at centre mid, we might be all right. Because it's an 89... Rui Costa, he doesn't. Does not. Damn. Well, what a draft anyway, guys. I will see you for attempt number three. All right. Here we go. In attempt number three. Let's take a five. Oh, do I want a five back? No, let's do the four, three, two, one. I don't mind the three backs. The three backs are pretty legit. We'll start with uh, McGin. Whoever that is. <laughs> oh, it's not terrible. Oh, guys. Oh, just seeing that is pain. We lost to Villa. We lost to Fulham. We lost to West Ham. We drew with Liverpool. We've literally only got one win out of the last five Premier League games. Now, on the brighter side, we're still in the title race. You know, we're only 20 games into the season. Of course, we're still in the title race. However, losing three and only winning one of the last five is extremely painful. It's extremely painful. And it all started with McGinn doing his thing. Uh, do I want Trippier? Yeah, I want Trippier. Give me that. Give me that, Kieran. Give me that, Ruben D. Come on in. Maldini usually pops here, doesn't he? Araujo. I'm going to take Araujo over Eda Militao just because of the chemistry situation. And then in at a left back. Don't have an Arsenal player. Don't have a Bayern player. But because... Oh, we've got Bundesliga player, though. So we'll take Alfonso Davies. And then in goal... Go Pope. Good for the chemistry. So we're 25 out of 33 on this one. Not the most easy upgrades. It's going to be interesting to see how the... Uh, oh, to the goalkeeper again. It's going to be interesting to see... Okay, you're sorry. To see how the bench goes on this one. Because I feel like we might have already had a lot of the big players here. 
right, we're going to take uh, Bon Pastor over Zinchenko because he'll just get really good chemistry in there. So now we just need to take out Malinovsky and Boniface, and we are golden. We shall start with a Yaya Torre. In over McGinn. Still need to take out Malinovsky and Boniface. Wow. Wow. Take Eze, but he doesn't help very much. That doesn't matter too much. Right, we get Hud Hullet. That gives us a plus three, Bosch. And now we just need a striker for Bonnie Faze. Get Diaz. Ooh. Nice big card there for Diaz, but not really what we're looking for. That's more like what we're looking for. Johan Cruyff up front. Boom. We've got the 33 chemistry again. This is 88 rated already. That's actually quite surprising it's so high rated. I didn't think it would be. Take 92 Eusebio. That allows us to take... Torre out of the uh, team. We lose four chemistry, but we gain it back there. We are now 89 rated again. So if we can get a plus one rating here, that's a one, two, three. We've only hit that one time. No, maybe two times before. And that's not a bad way to kick things off with an 89 Dybala over a Herdetsky. But I feel like we need a big, big player. We're not going to get it there. We're not going to get it there. So our second one, two, two of today seems like that's the commonality is the one two two but that's not what we want we want the one two four and here we go guys with the final attempt for today i honestly feel like we've whizzed through these drafts i'm gonna go with the four three two one again and again like it like sometimes it's it's fun go in the bench i think i'm gonna take hansen because she's the only one that goes on the bench sometimes it's fun just because you're like, oh, look how easy this was to build. But sometimes I'm like, I love the contemplation of like, who do we take? Who do we put where? We get the brand new Barnes up in at centre forward. That was quite nice. We get 93 Muller. That and Kunku would be nice as well. Tevez too. 93 Thunderstruck Muller. And then we're going to take Messi over Pushkas. A, because Messi gets full chemistry straight away. And B, Pushkas has a 94 that pops quite regularly in like the bad picks. So 89 Pedri can go in. Ooh, that uh, Grimaldo is quite nice. We are going to take Jayoro, though. With this many icons and these good nations, mm, we'll take that De Bruyne, too. Wow, three Centurions along the midfield there is quite interesting, isn't it? Uh, in at right back, could take La Plaquette. Could take Seamus the Anus Destroyer. Arias, I don't care about, even though he'd get two chem. We'll go with the French, uh, the French lady. And we shall take look at that William Saliba as well. Thunderstruck Sol Campbell goes in there. Great for the chemistry. 92 Maldini. Great. For, see what I mean? Like, you, There's no thought needs to go in. Even on something like this. It's like, okay, Hernandez is okay. He gets full chem because of the French links and the icons. Which means Mendy also will, but Hernandez is higher rated. Alfonso Davies I don't care about. But Zinchenko... Is probably the one to go for because he really helps Kevin De Bruyne with the chemistry, which is exactly what we're going to do. And he gets full chem because of the icons. Then in goal, we'll go with Alphonse Ariola because I believe Ariola gives us up to 32. He does because he gets De Bruyne on full chem. So the only player not on full chem now is Pedri. We're 89 rated off of that, which is fantastic. I will leave the goalkeeper again and, uh, for a little bit here. A right back, really. Better right back than what I've got. Got Dumpf Dumfries or Skov. Is Dumfries really going to get in the team and stay there? He's not. So we'll take the 83 rated. Next up. Well, 90 rated Fernando Hierro gets into the team. And that Spanish link gives us full chemistry. How about that? How about that? Now we can kind of uh, go for the goalkeeper and hopefully get someone a lot better. Not lose two chem points there. Another goalkeeper would be nice to be presented with, wouldn't it? We get an 89 Florian Vietz for the bench. 
All right, so we've got a choice. Either 92 Eusebio over 89 Barnes, which is a plus three on the overall. Or 91 the Rude Hullet over 89 Pedri, which is a plus two on the overall. So Barnes it shall be. This is now 89 rated as well, guys. This has actually got some big potential here, but we need to change at the very least one of the goalkeeper or right back. Preferably both. Not going to be done. These players. Bench is reasonably easy upgradable as well. Oh my god. We put Johan Cruyff in over Messi. Is it now possible to start Andozi on full chem? Yes, it is. It is now. We have now got locked in a 1 2 3, guys. I've got three picks to go to get this to a 1 2 4. Give me Cafu at right back, and we are cooking. I reckon that does it. Obviously, another goalkeeper would be ideal. Look how many icons we've got as well. Three, four, five, six, seven icons. Come on, EA. Hook it up, baby. No right back. Just an 89 Rodri. Not even that great of an exchange on the bench. Obviously, it doesn't impact chemistry at all, but it's good to have him there because we can put him in there now. No right back here. doesn't matter. Last pick. Give it to me. Yeah. Come on, give me that cafe out of nowhere. No. That's so sad. Because I genuinely believe. Let's just put the worst reserve on. Not enough. Let's say we got like a, a big Cafu. Not enough. Wow. Okay. Well, I need a little bit more than just Cafu then. This is close though, guys. This is close. And it's good to see a 1-2-3 anyway. And to be fair, that is just a mental, mental good draft. Um, other than the right back, I'd probably start somebody else. I'd probably start Sol Campbell there or something. Um, but that, guys, is going to be it for today. Of course, if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.